Sorry. Hi. Thank you. I love you again. Well, yes, but they would have to stand in. Can I steal a gum? Oh. Is this, uh, oh, is that Anthony's? He took it. He took it out. Oh, I've got it. It's really good. There's no, there's no aspartame in it. Yeah, the chemical. It's like man-made chemical. Like, you're definitely going to do something to you. Yeah, yeah. That was cool. That was cool. I think it works. Yeah, if she's here, I'll see her. Oh, him. Should I move around? Video of him? You have to show that. I haven't got a big brown. I got it. Oh. Okay. I'd love one. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Is this in the way? Are you quite. Yeah, oh no, you are <laughs> you are sitting in a seat that has been approved yeah. for the right height and <laughs> No, I just wondered. <laughs> and you've got just this much of me, right? <laughs> God, that one looks dangerous too. They all look very dangerous. <laughs> They're all so impressive. <laughs> no, I wanna know the makeup thing, whether that's recording anything. That's called I That's a bond thing? Stand. What? <laughs> I was moving bags and bit of Revlon. Yeah. Good, I thought good you were a secret agent or something, and that's actually a recording <laughs> device. Because you know, they don't look like a taser, Yeah. Let's just get rid of this one. Great place to hide one, right? In a makeup. Taser. Yeah. I was designing one that goes on your phone. Yeah, actually, uh, um, I was designing a, what do you, what do you call it when you spray somebody? Pepper spray. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. See, I'd go for that Kickstarter, yeah. right? No, I'd just do it. I wouldn't go to anybody else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the new girl. Hi, guys. Yes, hi. So, how is it? How's the dynamic between you and the other new faces on the team? Yes. And our crew is known. Because it's gotta be like there's there's you're part of the other. Yes. You're not part of the group, but you're not truly really a part of that group either. No, it's uh it's everything is very unsure at the moment. So we so I was just saying actually Nick Nick's has gone from a place of power and actually having a bit of status in prison to breaking out and knowing she needs these people to help her break out, to finding myself, uh, finding herself on a ship where her privileges have been, been taken away. Like she's not allowed her weapons, she's not allowed to go to access parts of the ship, and it's like, oh, but she almost knows she needs to win these people over if she wants to stay. So it's like taking a step back and feeling a bit vulnerable in a way because she's got all her protection and her things have been taken from her. It's almost like another prison, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how she goes with it. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And she knows that they're only going to let her stay if she, you know, can shows them that she can do things that are different from them. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Are we going to be seeing a lot more of that coming up? Yeah. Well, interesting about Nix is she does own a certain set of skills that are different, completely different to the rest of the crew. So she can contribute in that way. But you'll find you haven't seen that yet. So you will see more. All will be revealed in um, Nix's backstory episode, which is 206. And we delve into her world and where she's from and why she is the way she is and why she's been on her own for so long. Yes. <laughs> when Melissa was sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, when Melissa was at the table, we had a bit of a discussion about whether the relationship between two and Nick should be a really cool uh, friendship or yeah. something romantic. Do you have a preference as to what type of relationship you'd like to play out? Do I have a preference? Ooh, well, it's kind of up to the writers where they take it, but. Um, What's, what's been great about playing the, the storyline so far and, and even going forward was how they found a respect for each other. You know, Nick hasn't had anyone challenge her in that way and she's never fought with anyone so strong like her. You know, she was taking down guys in the prison. She was running the shop. So then for this, you know, beautiful, another beautiful woman to come along and 
challenge her in that way. I'm, Nix is quite intrigued by it, and I, as is too. So um, that's interesting. And instead of going down the typical, or I would say obvious route of carrying on and fighting each other, they are strong women, and, and a truly strong woman would respect another strong woman in that way. So that's very interesting to play. Oh, uh, Joe, uh, Joe had a plan when he did the comic book, right? But uh, we made him deviate a fair bit, <laughs> you know. But when you introduced new characters, was that something you... No, no, what happened is when we decided that one had to go... Oh, one had to go. That was meant in the generic sense. A character had to go. I keep, I've done that a few times. Oh, my God. Okay, when we decided a character had to go, right... We had to introduce something that was a new concept because we've been finding that, uh, honest truth, six people are hard to keep going in a show all the time. It was a bit tough to keep all those characters, so there was a practical decision to do it. But what we found is that the group had been recognized as, before they lost their memories, a very strong group, very dedicated, very strong altogether. And then when they lost their memories, they were trying to find out everything, and they didn't realize how good they were together. Mm -hmm. So they learned in season one how good they are together. So now we had to come up with a new character, and what was the character's role? To, to see whether or not that group would allow somebody new in. So that's Nix's role. It's to test the group and say, will you let somebody else in? You know, or are you already so close and so bonded and have all your relationships? But at the same time, Six, as you know, has betrayed everybody. So the question is, do we forgive him? So all these questions about what makes everybody fit together are being tested in season two. No. So we also have uh, is it Devin? Alex. Yes. Right. So uh, are they are they there in a similar fashion? They're not there to test okay. the the loyalties like like Nix's character is. They're there to provide a, a purpose. They're there to fill a role. Uh, we need a doctor to fix six, you know. We need a tough guy to, you know, conflict with everybody. Different, different roles totally. Okay. Nix's character is always planned long term as somebody to try and get in good with the group. And she does test every character. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. been fun. <laughs> now going back to one, is there a reason why one in particular you chose one? I get, I know it's terrible. I get, this is my, I have to wear this one. I have to wear this because his character had a four or five season arc to it, right? But I, I wanted to kill somebody, <laughs> right? I, I just wanted to do it. In fact, Sci Fi Channel told me that when we, the, within a minute after that tag, we were trended number one. <laughs> Like, because of that tag. And when I told them we were doing it, they were, oh my God, we love this. They went bananas. <laughs> they thought it was the smartest thing we could ever do in the first episode. They were in shock. Because even when we decided to kill the character, the original structure was eight, episode eight. We were going to keep them along, make sure you got more involved with them. But I guess, how do I say this? I realized that everyone, he was the sweetest guy. You know, and he was the nicest guy. Of course. You know? <laughs> so I sort of said, guys, you know, that's the one I want to kill. It was so against normal, too. No, no, no. So, so oh, quite honestly, Joe and, yeah. like, there, there. Uh, Joe and Paul looked at me like, are you Joe and Paul looked at me like, are you out of your mind? He's the nicest guy. Yeah. And I said, that's why. You know, there's a, you know. It's really interesting because. I don't want Mark to hate me for the rest no. of the No. <laughs> but it wasn't him. It had nothing to do with him. Yeah. Had to do with this character was most dramatic to lose. You know, if Six had died, and you know, you would have said, "Oh, he traded her anyways." You know, a lot of people. In fact, uh, Roger said people were sending nasty notes to him on for really? betraying the group. You know? Wow. The best part about that, though, is it was so beautiful because. Did he get killed by? Well, he got kind of killed by, by himself. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, and I actually went to set. I went to set to make sure there was a, a wild wall so I, we could shoot it that way because yeah. I wanted them facing each other in the shot. Mm. It right? wasn't just a random death. It was, no. Yeah. It was the, the, the worst of him was killing the best of him. Yeah. Yes, no. exactly. So that was, that was yeah. the for sure. Yeah. Now you tell me, what would I have done with that character anyways? 
Well, I mean, would you? You're a billionaire, you know. What are you going to come back to the ship for? Yeah. Where do you think it could have gone? Chase is an see. interesting character. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which one? Yeah. Chase. Yeah. Well, baddie. there's a reason that he was the one that killed one. That allows us to play a bit. Yeah. Yeah. There has to be revenge somewhere, right? <laughs> well, you tell me, would this crew stand up for each other? I think at this point, yeah. yeah. Okay, good guess. Yeah. yeah, that's why I say this has evolved. I keep telling everyone this. It's funny how people, even though we plan this whole thing out, when you see the chemistry between the different actors and the characters and what happens, you know, we change. And we capitalize on that. And when I I did not realize how cute one was. I have to be honest. When we were casting him, I sat in a room and I said, okay, he's really cute. And I did like this. There were three or four people. I said, we got to have somebody who's cute. Everybody else is like, top, up, up. need a cute guy. And I was, everybody's laughing at me in the casting. Because I said, he's cute, he's cute, he's cute. We got a cute, cute guy. Yeah. And then that's why I had to get rid of him too. Because he was just cute. I mean, it's a, it's so far in the future, you know. Oh, he was really cute. I mean, he was just sweet, and nice, and and he was like fragile, and he was like sensitive, and he was, you know, moral compass. Yeah. 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 Well, now you don't have one. Great. Uh, well, but Devin's Devin, you're going to see, is a sensitive character. That's true. Yes. For He's different got a very reasons. interesting backstory yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Sean. Oh gosh, I thought we were. Okay. Thank you. Thanks.